Hey y'all, it's the girl Janine, Real Talk New York with mm-hmm. you. They got up in vanity. What a calamity. They got the audacity. They got the audacity. Pick up yourself, launch up yourself. Okay guys, look at my satin sheets. These are like the softest sheets, they're silky. I'm gonna link the um, Amazon link in somewhere in the description, somewhere below. I'm gonna link it if you guys want it. So silky is worth it, it's the softest sheets I ever slept on. Anyway guys, let's get into it. Um, I wanna talk about how to be a better friend, okay? Because nowadays it's just like, I see how females operate. I don't know if they have no upbringing or they weren't taught better or whatever the case may be, but females, they are catty. They're just bad. They're bad. They're bad friends. They're really terrible people. And I know I'm not perfect, but God knows I ain't like that. God knows I'm not catty. It's just selfish. You know, I always hear, and, <clears throat> and I always hear females complaining about other females. Like, I don't keep female friends. So let's squash the beef. Let's squash the beef right now. And let's uh, talk about how to be a better okay. friend. Number one, <clears throat> support your friends. You know, support your friends. Give and take. Give and take. Especially if you know your friends are going through a hard time. Especially if the, your friends have kids and she's a single mom and she needs help. Support your friend. If your friend have a kid... And, and kids are little, kids are small. Their things are not expensive. You could pick them up, yeah, a bottle of milk or something, or you could pick them up um a pot like some out a outfit for them, or help your friend like support. You see, your friend's a single mom and she don't have it, or she's going through a hard time, she's going through a divorce, or whatever the case may be. Help that friend, be a support system for that friend. If she's going through something, have some compassion, have a heart. Don't be that friend that. Oh, she's going, your friend is going through a divorce and you're running and telling your other people in your friend group, don't do it. You're going and telling people in your friend's group or her scandal, what her husband, his ex-husband is doing and you're just being malicious. Stop, stop that behavior. Is it, what, that, that's not worth it because it's only destroying your own reputation. Stop doing that to other females. If that's a friend, be a loyal friend. Stop doing that. Oh, God, I hate when people do stuff like that. Females, like when somebody's in a hard time, a downtime, they're using that as ammunition against someone they call that a friend and using that as entertainment. That's not okay. Let's stop doing that as women. That's not okay. And number two, um, talk to each other, not about each other. Talk to each other. If you have a disagreement where we will have disagreements, people have disagreements, we sit down and we have a discussion about it. We talk it out. That's what friends do. Talk things out, okay? Instead of just like, oh, ghosting a friend or, you know, being passive aggressive and just showing attitude if someone offended you. Being passive aggressive and not communicating and going behind someone's back is toxic. You need to stop that. Okay, number three, show up. Show up. Don't be that friend that doesn't show up to your friend's birthday party. <laughs> Don't be that girl. That's that's not a real friend. Show up. Show up to her, their events, birthday party. They're having a beauty pageant. They're having a dance hall event. They're having um gathering. They're selling their items. They're having a, a um a book signing, whatever your friend is into, whatever she's doing, show up, show up. Don't be a no call, no show. That's dead of a friendship. I remember I had a, fr a friend that w one day, right? T had me sitting there waiting the whole time, did a call or show up and later on call the next day arguing as to why I'm upset. Sick people, sick, take accountability, number four. Uh, learn to apologize when you're wrong. I'm sorry that that happened. It won't happen again. L take accountability. Okay, that toxic trait, arguing when you're wrong, it's better to just humble yourself and say, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't show up. It won't happen again. I'm so sorry. And that's real. That's a real friend. That arguing toxic at people's head after you already not showed up, you already didn't show up, and then you're going to argue and make it seem like you're right for not showing up after you said you would? 
Don't be that girl. Be a better friend. Okay, so let's go. Let's talk what we went over so far. Number one, support your friends, especially if they're in hard times. They have kids and everything like that. Number two, oh, I didn't add to number one. I knew who my real friends was when I was when I became a mom. That's what told me, but I always kept that stuff in the back of my mind. Um, two, talk to people, talk to your friends, not about them. Like, you know, to have a discussion, be mature. And three, show up. Show up for your friends. Yes, 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 yes. Show up for your friends. We got to do better, ladies. We have to be, and we have to take accountability as a friend. Take accountability. Stop arguing when you know you're wrong. Just apologize and move on. That shows you're not a real friend. So that shows you're not mature. You're going to argue, you know, you're dead or wrong. Okay, guys, I forgot to add this. Listen, listen as a friend. That's what I'm saying. You got to be a good listener. You know, you can't always talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about yourself. Okay, because that's a sign of narcissism. You have to care. Listen, it's not a good thing to be always talking about yourself. A good friend has listening skills. They're concerned about the other party as well as a good friendship. Both parties are concerned about each other. It's not just one person constantly talking, talking, and you don't know nothing about that person. I was surprised when somebody said like they didn't know something very serious that happened to my life that I told them several times. And it's because of the fact that they're always talking about themselves and they're really self-centered and they only cared about themselves. That was the whole reason. And, it, it, you know, I won't allow that in my life anymore anyway. So that's the past. But, um, yeah, it's listen to your friends, care about your friends and be concerned with your friends. A relationship is going both ways. Okay, guys? Um, there's another thing I want to say one more thing that you shouldn't do to a friend be 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 sensitive towards your friends Think before you talk because you could be saying something about somebody's race somebody ethnicity And stuff like that and they take it offense like I'm a black person and I take a very offense when somebody starts calling black woman Cockroaches, I mean I had a friend and she had a, a disagreement with another person and she was saying cockroaches and trying to de degrade dark-skinned women and she knows I'm dark-skinned and I was like I don't I respect myself I, res I love my color I love myself and I don't tolerate colorism I do not I have no tolerance for colorism none I will cut you off that's one reason I will cut you off so yeah respect and even Spanish friends like don't be this in somebody's culture white friends don't be the sea of white friends but at least you can have a discuss an open discussion about race but don't degrade your friends you get what i'm saying i'm not saying that oh you can't have an open discussion about race with your friend i'm not saying that but you're not going to sit there and degrade your your friends of other ethnicities that's very important anyway guys last thing one last thing okay forgiveness Forgiveness is important because no one is perfect. Yes, you should forgive some, not for like really bad betrayals, but yes, forgiveness is very important. You know? Yeah, forgiveness is important in a friendship. Yeah, I think I covered basically everything. All right, so um, the link in the bio is for the sheets, nice and silky. Pick up yourself, launch up yourself, guys. I love you. I have something to do, so I gotta go. Love you guys. Bye.